Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So today I wanted to take a look at how you can use a Balfang radio as an APRS transmitter. What you'll see laying on the table there is uh, obviously the Balfang radio, and it is connected with a cable to an old Android phone. I'll leave a link to the cable down below so you can pick one up if you'd like to build this project as well. The Android phone is a prepaid version. I've never had service on it, and I believe I picked that up at Walmart for about 40 bucks or so. And I had built this about a year ago um, for another project, and it worked uh, fairly well, but it did have its limits because it can only transmit with 5 watts of power. So even when connected to a mag mount outside the vehicle, it had limited capabilities. Uh, so what I've done to kind of compensate for that is I built a digipeter to go inside the Jeep. Uh, that's running on a Raspberry Pi. And then when I'm out uh, hunting or hiking or something else out away from the mobile, then I'll set the Balfang to just one watt of power and throw this little setup over in my backpack and it's able to track me as I move along through the woods. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the way this works. So the first thing I've got here is the Balfang and got the frequency set to 144.390 uh, both on the top and bottom band. That way if it does get bumped when maybe it's in my backpack or something, um, I don't, uh, you know, it stays on the right frequency. I also typically will lock the radio uh, when it's in my backpack. But uh, I've done that, and then it, over on menu item 4, I've turned on the Vox and set the Vox to about level 5. And then the volume knob I've got cranked up eh, roughly halfway. Uh, seems to work fairly well. And that's all there is for setup on the radio. I did just notice that this one, typically I keep both frequencies in low. Um, but right now it looks like I got the top frequency uh, in the high power transmit mode. But anyway, let's take a look at the software on the, uh, on the phone. And the software that I'm running is called APRS Droid. So we'll go ahead and open up that software. And this is what the home screen would look like. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is tap on those three little dots and come down to Preferences. And you'll need to set up everything in here. So your call sign first, uh, and then your the SSID uh, that you want to use with that. Since this is an HT, I chose uh, SSID of 7. Uh, your APRS DigiPath. Uh, here, I typically will use Wide 1.1 comma wide to one uh, because I also use this in conjunction with a fill-in digipeter that I've built uh, for my Jeep. So uh, that, those settings work well for that. Uh, you can also choose the symbol uh, that you want to display on the map. In this case, I've got the little stick man uh, displayed. Uh, and then the voice frequency, if you wanted to enter that here, uh, it would put that on APRS.FI, so if somebody wanted to contact you on a voice frequency, maybe on a second handheld, uh, that information would be displayed as well. But you'll go through and enter your preferences, and uh, that pretty much takes care of it. Now, because it's running on Vox, uh, when you hit the Send Position button, you'll notice that it takes just a second, but the radio will go ahead and key up. Now, the downside to this system is it does want to hang the PTT button uh, a little longer than it takes to actually transmit the APRS packets, uh, but it does work. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that on the map. I'll uh, roll in the map footage here, and you'll see that it spotted me via my, uh, my gate here at the house, which is KM4ACK-2. Anyway, it's just an inexpensive little APRS setup, and sometime in the future, I'll go over how I installed the DigiPeter software on uh, the Raspberry Pi in my Jeep to make this a lot more effective. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, 7-3.